new problem in the new world of remote learning. Many students are learning in the cold, and no one realized it until the weather mm. started changing. Now teachers are shifting their attention to helping their students stay warm. KKL 9 consumer investigator Christine Lazar shows us what they're doing. Stephanie Levinson's TK and kindergarten students have faced many obstacles even before the pandemic and remote learning. All qualify for free meals and some are homeless. Even the majority of them, they might be in one little room or in a mobile home or in a hotel room, but they're all still showing up. But when they showed up last week, the veteran teacher noticed something she didn't anticipate. We noticed that they are shivering while they're on Zoom. They either have their blankets around them, they're wearing multiple layers of clothing, their fingers are cold, they're not used to the cold weather because in our classrooms we have heat. Levinson decided to put together an Amazon wish list for her 35 students. She asked for things like blankets, hats, and socks. I wouldn't have thought of this a month ago. It was 105 degrees, the kids were sweating and wearing tank tops. And this isn't unique to Levinson's class. Stacy Stewart also teaches kindergarten in a Title I school in Pacoima. They can't focus if they're cold. They can't focus if they're not comfortable. So Stewart started a wish list too. It hits you in the heart very, very deeply because you would do anything for these students and their families. Many of whom have lost income. There's so much more than the internet we have to worry about for these kids. They need to feel secure. They need to feel safe, and I know that the families are doing their absolute best, but with the pandemic, financial struggles can make it really difficult. Priscilla Solis teaches special ed. She made a wish list as well. Now it's just, we can see everything. So seeing that, that they don't have the luxury of a heater and they literally have to be bundled up is very hard. The lists and Levinson's living room are already filling up. I'm overwhelmed with gratitude that there are so many people with kind hearts in this world that will do anything they can to make things better for these kids. We have the wish lists for these teachers and a few more on our website. They've also added some extras for the kids like school supplies and stocking stuffers for the holidays. Christine Lazar, KCAL 9 News.